Welcome to Unit 7.6. In this unit, we're going to learn about the commonly seen errors in Excel. Let's start with the div slash zero error. You often see it, and let's recreate it over here. In this particular formula, I'm going to take cell A1 and divide by cell B1, and I'll get my answer there and copy it down like I normally do. And here you'll find it full of div errors. And the reason for that is it's saying that divided by nothing, hence the div slash zero error. It's probably because you just haven't captured data in there yet. If I was to put something in there, it would just recalculate. So that's what the div error means. The other error would be the hash value error. And what that means is you're normally trying to perform a formula with something that isn't a number. In other words, you're dividing by something text, or you're trying to add something that's text, etc. So for example, here I would say that cell divided by the text um, that's in G1, and you're going to get that value purely because you're dividing by something that is a text field rather than a number field. If I happen to change that, the formula would recalculate. The other error that you see quite often is your ref error. So for example, if I took this formula and I try to copy it into a new sheet and I paste it, you'll get a ref error. It's lost its reference. If I look in the formula bar, it's saying reference divided by reference. Because you've copied and pasted that formula somewhere else, it's no longer recognizing the sheet name or the cell reference. So that's what reference normally means. You often see it in file links when you're linking from one file to the other and somebody has renamed that file or moved that file into another folder. Suddenly it cannot find that link anymore and you'll get a ref error. The other error you'll see quite often is your NA error, and this is usually um, seen in VLOOKUPs. For example, let's say we were matching on branch code, branch code to there. Let's say that branch code was South Africa. Over here I'm going to write a VLOOKUP. We haven't done VLOOKUPs yet, we'll be doing that in the advanced section. Um, I'm going to look up there, look up there. and it returns South Africa because it found a match. Had I changed that now to, let's say, branch 56, it will say NA, which means it's not finding it, it's not matching, it can't be found. Our next error is a circular reference error, and you will see this. For example, here I'd want to sum from P1 to P4. So let's say our sum What I'm doing is I'm including cell P4 in the formula, and that's where my answer is. So I'm actually telling it where the answer is, include that in the formula, and so it does a circle on itself, which can't be done. It's going to tell you that there's a circular reference where a formula refers to its own cell either directly or indirectly. This may cause them to calculate incorrectly. Okay, and it will just zero out. If I go and edit this formula now and I change it to P3, as it should be, all is well and it will calculate. So a circular reference is when you're normally including the cell where you're doing the answer inside the formula. In some instances of financial models, you may want it to iterate. Um, you want it to do that, but it is very unusual to want to create a circular reference on purpose. 